logs and exponent uses in real life. In order to change from logs to exponents, this is how you do it. Imagine that you have 2 to the power 3, it is equal to 8. So you take the exponent and you take it to the other side, and you take the result and take it to the other side, and then you take 2 and put it as the base of the log. These are the rules for logs. They are really straightforward. If you wish to understand each one of them, you can pause the video and look at them clearly. The songs on the radio are okay. But my taste in music is your face. And it takes a song to come around to show you how she's the terror. These are the rules for exponents. They are also very straightforward. Again, if you want to understand each one of them, you can pause the video and look at them clearly. You fell asleep in my car, I drove the whole time. But that's okay, I'll just avoid the hole so you sleep fine. I'm driving here, I said. Lux and exponents made the world simple. Exponents uses. The first use is computer games. Computer games use a system called the binary system. Bi means two, which means that computer games use a system of exponents of two to be created. The second use is scientific notation. Imagine DNA, for example. It is 3 times 10 to the minus 9 meters big. It is much easier writing that than 8.0000000003 meters. Another example is the pillars of creation. They are 1 times 10 to the 17 meters big. It is much easier writing that than 1 and then 17 zeros. Our last example of using exponents in real life is area and volume. Here we see a house. We can see that area is calculated by multiplying two of its sides, length and width. This will give us a result of meters squared. Then for volume we will multiply three of its sides, height, width and length, to give us a uh, result with a unit of meter cubed. Logs uses. The first use is music. We think that from Do to Re to Mi to Fa it increases from 10, for example, if it is 10 wavelengths to 20 wavelengths to 30 wavelengths to 40 wavelengths, but that is not true. Notes increase exponentially, meaning that if Do is 10 to the 1 wavelengths, Re is gonna be 10 to the 2 wavelengths, and so on. We can also think of this as if our brains are thinking in logarithms, 10 to the 1 being log 10, 10 to the 2 being log 10 plus log 10, 10 to the 3 being log 10 plus log 10 plus log 10. So, in conclusion, our brains are actually thinking in logs. So use logs to calculate the magnitude of an earthquake. The formula is m equals log base 10 a plus b. This is the register for, for uh, formula. a is the amplitude in millimeters measured by the seismograph, and b is a distant correction corrector factor. In this picture we can see the a green dot as the point where the earthquake started and the yellow part as the seismograph. The distance between them is B and the answer given by the seismograph will be A. Logs are also used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of the substance. It is measured in pH using the formula pH equals negative log base 10, uh, open brackets, H plus, close brackets. H plus will be the molar concentrations of the dissolved hydrogen ions. In this example, we replaced H plus with 10 to the minus 3, and we solve it, which will give us an answer of pH equals 3. pH is measured from 1 to 14, 1 to 7 being an acid and 7 to 14 a base. Therefore, we can say that this is an acidic substance.